Yippee ki yay, melon farmer. Hey, welcome back, knife nerds and everyday care people. It's your boy, the Big Connector, and we're having a look at some stuff here today. We're having a look at. I'm actually on my way down to Mexico here this evening. Uh, I'm going to be heading out tomorrow morning, and I just kind of wanted to go over. This is what I'm going to be carrying down in Mexico. I am a little bit concerned. You know, I looked up some of the knife laws, and there's a little bit unclear. You know, I guess based upon where you're going and stuff like that. I guess the main thing is if you're not pulling it out and flashing all over the place, you're going to be fine. And I've never carried a any sort of knife other than something like this, which is a Victorinox uh, farmer. Uh, no, sorry, field master. And uh, I, I, this has always been my my Mexican EDC, but this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to carry. I'm going to bring both of these. I'm going to bring myself a uh, flipper. This happens to be a Ganzo uh, FH44 with D2 steel. You know, it's a great little knife for what it is. I mean, it's like 45 bucks Canadian. I think this is around $30 American. It's not super expensive, but it is really, really quite uh, quite a handy little piece. The other thing I'm thinking I'm tossed, uh, I'm torn between is I I have my, um, my Olight, but it's a little bit heavy. Uh, and it's also, I don't want to lose that. And uh, so what I have here is I've got uh, a couple here. I'm, I'm deciding on, I've got a night core top here, which is a thousand lumens. And then I've also got this little um, lumen top titanium and it's uh, 110 lumens. It runns off a, a, a AAA battery, which I actually have a, re, a rechargeable one inside here. And I've got a little Olight recharger, which is really neat. It just plugs into a, USB uh, A and then it just one clicks on this side, one clicks on that side of the battery. They're magnetic. They read the pol they read the polarity and they start to charge it. It's just really really neat. So this will last should last me the whole uh, ten days that we're gone. And if not, I, I do have the option of charging. It. And this one here is USB C to recharge. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. This one carries in the pocket so much nicer, but this one is so much brighter. I will decide at game time and I'll let you know what uh, which one I'm taking. Um, the other thing I wanted to quickly mention before I, I, I went, and uh, just to give me your, your quickly give me your thoughts on what you think uh, about my little EDC. Now this uh, Fieldmaster here, you know, it's got a couple of different blades. It's got a, uh, a a flathead there. What I really like about these um, carrying this Victorinox is the fact that nobody really gives it a second thought, even if there is no kind of there is a knife law. Nobody thinks of this as a knife. They think of this as a tool. Whereas this one here is a little more, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm being silly, maybe I'm not. Uh, I just think as long as I've got it in my pocket around the resort, or if I need to cut something, um, then you know that I've, I've got this. It's just, I know, I like carrying this with the pocket clip so much more than this, but we'll find out. If I feel like I'm not gonna be kind of uh, safe from uh, uh, policia, then I will probably just carry this, but I make sure I when I make sure I have the option to carry this too as well, uh, depending upon where we go. And this is by no means um, nothing about uh, you know uh, it being unsafe. I've never ever felt unsafe in all the times I've been to Mexico, so I have not bringing it for safety's sake. I'm bringing it because I always check my pocket for a knife. Damn it, I am, and I feel naked without it. That's my thing because I think these are tools, not weapons. And I think I'm probably going to go with the Lumen Top here, even though it's not brighter. And I am going to carry an Olight, I think, on my uh, my carry-on. So I think I'll, I'll be able to have a brighter light. This one here is just smaller, and it carries so much nicer. I think the top is going to stay home. I think I've kind of just decided. And uh, one other thing here, I'm going to pull this aside here. Before I head out, I just wanted to quickly uh bring this to everybody's attention here this is a thing here by a gentleman by the name of chris reinhold he's got a company called the sharp shack and hey he sharpens you know chef knives he sharpens you know scissors barber scissors so if you're out around quinell bc um and you're looking for something you know to sharpen all your knives give this guy a call i'm going to put his um his information in the description the other thing that i'm uh i'm bringing to your attention here and we're going to be doing a review of this is i ended up doing a little bit of horse trading and not only does he sharpen he's actually um makes these absolutely fantastic uh, uh drivers and you know it's titanium he's got the you know it's got the 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 fidget uh, ball bearing on it 
Uh, I'm going to give, give this a review. I'm going to use it here for a bit. I just got it here about 10 days ago from him. I haven't had a chance to really kind of put it through its paces yet, but he was so nice. He actually sent me an extra bead and uh, he sent me another two beads here too as well. One is carbon fiber and the other one's titanium. And uh, you know, so far from what I can tell, absolutely top notch work, but we're going to give an actual real review of this and uh, I'll be able to let you know about that. But I just wanted to kind of throw this out there. So if you're looking for something, if you're looking for a driver, um, he'll be able to help you out. They're very, very affordable. And I am going to get myself another one of these because I want to have one for each side. Um, I am going to get another one of these for sure. And he actually custom colored this one for me purple and he did kind of a graduated. So he is, and he's not been a, a machinist for like the last 20 years or anything like that. It's a relatively new kind of skill for him. And I got to say, man, the guy has got an aptitude for it. So just wanted to throw that out there. I will do an actual review of this. I just wanted to quickly say hello to you guys and let you know why I hadn't been on for a little bit because I'm just getting myself uh, prepared for this trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of, um, just this little bit of uh, a video here before I headed out. Please, please stay safe out there, you guys. Keep your stick on the ice to shine the side up. This is the Big Canucker saying adios. Oh, yes. And saying, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to say hello in Spanish. And I've been taking Spanish on my computer for the last 10 months. Damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. But I know how to say goodbye. Adios. So I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon. I'll be gone for 10 days. Please, please stay safe.